I was gonna post it and then I got COVID. Hey everyone, sorry for the hiatus. I was uh, doing this chronic illness PT video series, but um, I got through the first video and I had the second one filmed and edited and I was gonna post it and then I got COVID and then it just like, it didn't feel like really aligned, you know? Like I know that a lot of people like batch stuff ahead of time, you have to, you have to get things done and edit, but there was just something that just, I couldn't record that intro uh, while I had COVID and be talking about doing physical therapy exercises and how much progress I've seen because I've probably lost that progress or at least some of it now. Um, so I had strep, tonsillitis, bronchitis, and COVID. Um, it was my first time having COVID. I'm very thankful that I got two boosters. So I actually just got my last booster about three, four weeks ago now. So I feel very, very fortunate. Um, so came down sick as a dog um, Wednesday, August the 3rd, and um, it is now, it is the 15th. So yeah, um, the last 12 days have been utter hell. Um, I've never been that tired in my life. I've never been that sick. My partner, um, same thing. It was really bad on him as well. Um, I did get it a little bit worse, um, obviously, because I'm immunocompromised and I am on um, further immunosuppressants. It's a long story, um, <laughs> but safe to say um, it was something we were really very concerned about um, because I am very high risk. I are myself very, very fortunate, obviously, um, to, uh, to be here and to be smiling. Everyone was like, oh my God, you're glowing. The light's back in your eyes because literally I was crawling to the bathroom. I couldn't take two steps. My partner was like, wow, you know, 11 days ago, you couldn't take two steps, you know, from the couch to the counter without being completely winded and out of breath. And that was true. I mean, it was horrible. I mean, we got the loss. I got the loss of taste, smell, um, the chest pains, fever, cough. Um, I did have a sore throat, obviously swollen tonsils, um, horrible, horrible searing headache, brain fog, just could not pull words or anything. Uh, it was, it was a very difficult time. Um, I'm so lucky that, you know, we had grocery delivery options and, you know, my sister was able to drop stuff off at a distance at our doorstep. Um, because I, I really don't know what we would have done. Um, I'm thankful that we didn't have to quarantine separately because, you know, I had been concerned about that, um, but we both came down ill the same day. But again, it's been a really rough time. I had pretty much every symptom under the sun. Um, it was also very difficult to sleep just because of all the coughing, um, but I was sleeping basically all day, every day that I could. Um, I did try to work from home through part of it, and then I, I ended up taking quite a few sick days. It got really scary at one point. Um, I was coughing up some blood um, and then some other stuff, but you know I was in, in contact with my um, rheumatologist and the doctor's nurse on a regular basis, as well as talking with my own pharmacist and primary care physician. So I had, you know, really my whole team involved in this, um, just trying to make the best decisions possible. Um, I did have to go to urgent care at one point and um, get um, some some extra cough medicine and be able to sleep, and then also the the antibiotic um, after the strep test. Um, so what fun that has been. Um, so again, uh, it's August 15th and I've basically missed all of August so far. Um, I had started running a little bit of, fe of a fever, you know, that Sunday before, but it's not uncommon for me with all of my chronic illnesses already to run a little bit of a low grade fever. So I took a test, it was negative. I dismissed it and just, you know, figured it was just another symptom and continued on. But then by Wednesday, there was just no doubt in our minds. I mean, we each took three tests and um, were very, very quickly uh, ruled positives. Heck, I am in an extremely high risk population. Um, I was able to get the antiviral Paxlovid. I'm very fortunate that my doctor was able to call in that for me. Um, and I have not been able to take my some of my other medications for my 
other conditions um, because they would further immunosuppress me. So for instance, I'm on methotrexate and Humira, um, which Humira is a biologic, and then methotrexate is a type of uh, chemotherapy. Um, it's a DMARD. And so not, not to get all technical and put on my doctor hat here for you, but <laughs> anyway, both of those uh, I take for my psoriatic arthritis. And so those suppress my overactive immune system because my immune system attacks itself already. Um, so it does a good enough job. It didn't need COVID's help. And so, uh, yeah, once uh, COVID got in the mix, we went ahead and suspended um, several of my normal medications um, and then added new ones to help um, with the coughing and the chest congestion and the <laughs> breathing and uh, sleeping and everything else. Um, it was so much pain. I don't know why I'm getting choked up thinking about this. <laughs> I guess also it's just, you know, it's an emotional time and um, just still very, very exhausted just wearing out so fast from doing very little activity still. And it just scares me. So I hope that isn't something that continues and I hope I continue to just heal and get better and rest and I can get back to doing all of the uh, physical therapy stuff for my fibromyalgia that I was doing before. Um, I was really starting to see a lot of results with that and I'm really looking forward to uh, when I can resume a healthy movement again. I have um, been doing, you know, slight mobility stretches, um, but even those I wasn't able to do while I was sick at all. I couldn't move my body hardly. It was the worst. <laughs> um, so I hope that, you know, none of you have had to experience anything like this. I hope you never do. And I hope I never do again. Again, this was just my first time having it. Um, a lot of people say that it's worse the first time. Some people have had it three times. And, you know, I know everyone's experience is so different. Um, but I just wanted to chime in. This has been my experience. I just wanted to go ahead and document this. And, you know, maybe you can relate. And um, I hope it gives you, you know, if an, you take anything away from this, I would say, you know, to just be prepared with a lot of Dayquil and NyQuil and soup and uh, bottled water and everything else on hand. I think also if I were to do it over again, I would say to myself, use the paper plates, use the solo cups. Um, don't worry about like, don't make a bunch of dishes for yourself and like just because after two weeks, the house was an absolute wreck and you feel even worse because you're living in a pigsty at that point and like you haven't showered in like nine days and it's just like a whole thing you know it gets really disgusting okay yeah to anyone that's you know going through this or getting sick or you know just wants to feel like they're a little bit better prepared if they do get sick I would say you know definitely keep a couple of cases of water on hand keep you know your day quill and night quill um, you know stocked in the cabinet Keep, you know, a case of your favorite soup or ramen or whatever else is something really easy for you to get down that is just calories. Um, I know for me, I like the Carnation Instant Breakfast Shakes too and the like Go Squeeze Apple Sauces. Um, those are things that are really easy. Sometimes it's just easier to drink your calories when you're sick if you can't get anything else down. Um, I know for me that also, um, you know, puking was an issue. I don't know if that was the COVID or my other conditions, um, but it was very difficult to keep things down and I was becoming incredibly dehydrated and we found that Gatorade powder was really, really clutch during this. Um, so we just got little packets and we were just pouring it in our water bottles, shaking it up and chugging our Gatorade. Um, so that was helping a lot. Um, so I would say, you know, keep um, paper plates, um, plastic cups, plastic wear on hand so you're not having to do dishes and you can just throw stuff right away and nobody's touching, you know, dirty dishes. Um, I've heard a lot of the ways that, you know, uh, family members can get infected is by, you know, someone that's sick unloading the dishwasher or touching dishes that are clean, you know, so you want to make sure that you're just tossing all that stuff. Just don't even worry about it. 
Again, I would just say to sleep as much as possible, drink lots of fluids, hot tea really helped, um, the Gatorade powder helped, um, my Carnation Instant Breakfast. Um, French vanilla is my favorite, um, but they also have chocolate and strawberry. Um, go squeezes, jello, soup, anything that's like soft, easy to drink, easy to get down. Um, string cheese was a good one um, as well for just, just a grabby snack thing, you know. Um, whatever you can do to get calories in you, you know, for those days. We each lost, I think I lost six pounds and um, my, part <clears throat> my partner lost nine. And so we were losing a lot of fluids and a lot of calories and we just weren't nearly able to replace them fast enough. So, you know, do be keeping that in mind. Have that stuff on hand if you can in the cheapest way possible. And if I'm experiencing pain, something that I'll often do is I will rotate taking um, naproxen, sodium, and acetaminophen. Again, this is not medical advice. You know, consult your um, practitioners. But oh, hello! The cat joined me. That's that little little butt. Mmm, look at that butt. Look at that little cat butt. See. <laughs> Um, and just ignore this creepy rabbit here. We're not going to talk about that, okay? That is my partner's side of the bed. I don't want to discuss it. So again, thank you for watching. This has been my experience with not just COVID for the first time, but I also got strep and then tonsillitis and bronchitis on top of that. So very terrible experience. Um, again, it's been, I guess, 12, 13 days in total. Um, 15 if you want to count from that first Sunday where I started feeling not so meh. Um, so basically, yeah, all of August so far, this is where I've been at. This room right here. Um, it's been pretty miserable. So that's been my experience with COVID, strep, tonsillitis, bronchitis. Um, so thank you for listening to me ramble about having a strep Streprona. Yeah, I like that. We're calling it that. Um, thank you for listening um, to me ramble about this for a while. I hope you never go through anything like this. Um, if you do, I hope this helps you in some way. And if you're going through it right now, just know that you're not alone. You are not your diagnosis. And if you don't have a diagnosis, you're valid too. I love you so much. Come join our community over on Instagram and TikTok. And I'll see you next time. Bye.